What's going on, guys? You are officially tuned in into the Faithful Servants Podcast, where we discuss topics to challenge your thoughts, perspectives, and ultimately, the way you live your life. We are your hosts, Brother Obadiah, Brother Ephraim, and man, guys, we are more than excited to get this podcast going. Um, man, we've been playing this thing for a while now, um, but through the grace of God, we were able to prevail, make it through. And now we're um, getting ready to shoot our first episode soon. So this is not the first official episode. What this video is going to be about is a welcome video. We're going to talk to you guys about who we are as individuals, as young men, give you guys some insight about, you know, our interests and in, in, uh, what our plans and goals are and vision is uh, for this uh, podcast ultimately. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass it over to Ephraim. He's going to go ahead and get you guys going with introducing himself. Yeah, so um, as you know, I'm Brother Ephraim. And um, so I want to start off by giving you um, a bit of a perspective of the life that I was living before I began, I began to become a believer. Um, so when I, when I be, before I became a believer, I was kind of just going with the flow through life, um, you know, just trying out new things and, uh, you know, just dealing with uh, drugs and stuff like that, doing things that um, I shouldn't be doing. But the Lord led led me to, towards him and, you know, um, through a couple of friends of mine. And we, we started, get, you know, getting into the Bible and reading together and things of that nature. And as I was reading for myself and actually getting to know the Lord for myself is when he revealed himself to me. And, you know, I just began um, to do my thing from there. Um, but what about you, bro? For sure. But I want to ask you, though, like, what do you feel like was the turning point, though? Like, um, because I think at, at everybody, in everybody's life. Mm-hmm. You know, we go through certain things and especially for people who who tend to begin to come to God, there's always just that one thing or one event or something that may happen to you. Uh, so what was was there anything for you that did it that was like that made you feel like, OK, I really have to change my ways. Like I really have to turn to God. What was it for you? Honestly, I don't think there was a specific event um, that let that that did that to me. Um, but I do think that just me meeting some um some some friends of mine um one named Antonio man he was he was a he was a great friend of mine and we we would hang hang around a lot together and he he knew some things about the bible that I didn't know about mm-hmm. so when he presented these things to me and I actually seen it mm-hmm. I was like man like that's crazy and I I just started reading for myself and this and that's when the spirit just was working with me so pretty much knowledge like you just getting any more knowledge about the word yeah cuz like I was always interested in the bible but I guess I, I just didn't have no one to properly teach it to me. So. Right. Okay. Yeah, that definitely makes sense. Um, for me, um, before I knew God, um, I definitely wouldn't say that I was a, you know, a bad child. But I, ha- I made my fair share of mistakes. And um, really, for me, my life was revolved around this thing called basketball. You know, basketball is what, what, I, what I did when I woke up. And the last thing I did before I went to bed. And um, to me, ball was life. That's all it was about for me. And um, it got to a point where one day I was at a, I had a basketball tournament. Yeah. Um, it was in, I think, Orlando. And, you know, we, we had a basketball tournament. We played like about, I'd say, maybe four games that day. Like, it was crazy, four games. Mm-hmm. And we were doing pretty well and everything like that. And I played all four games. And I played so much that I ended up injuring myself um, within those four games. And um, I suffered from an injury called uh, I fractured my sesamoid bone on my big toe. So when I when I when I uh, when I when I got injured, you know, the big toe <laughs> fractured that day. Um, I ended up going to see you know see a doctor or whatnot. Mm-hmm. And um, after I seen a doctor, and the doctor was pretty much talking to me. He was like, you know, it's not looking too good for you, pretty much. And he told <laughs> me he was like, you know, you're gonna have to be out for some time. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? And uh, I, and as a result, I was in the boot for about three to four months. But, you but, know uh, how how did you how did you feel about like just being out of basketball like did you were you were you angry about it man, like, when it yo, was sad like I, as he was talking like as he was talking to me like give me that look like it's not looking too good man yeah. i just felt like it's kind of weird because i wasn't as hurt as i thought i would be uh-huh. because i was more in awe about how quickly things can change than what actually occurred in my life like, I was like, man, like, you mean to tell me I can just be playing ball one day like, and all of a sudden one injury, one thing can, can put a pause on that? 
you know, you hear about in, you hear about injuries all the time. You hear about injuries all the time, but for when for me to actually have to go through that, I was like, man, like this this can't be real. And I was like, man, like God is really, God is really. He he. I don't know what he has planned, but man, he really just did that to me. Like I'm yeah. really, I don't know what I, I don't know what's gonna happen. So, so pretty much just yeah. knowing that things can change very quickly. Right. That's what when I I'm like, yeah, like this is this is something right here. Like man, so. And, and that also had me question basketball. That's when I began to question basketball. I'm like, well, if this is what I want to do with my life, but it can be stripped away from me this easily and this quickly, Man. is this really the answer for my for my life? Yeah. Is this really what I is? Do I really want something that's so temporary that's, that that anything or anybody can strip it away from me at any moment in time? You see, so. You know when, I, cause so now that I had more time on my hands, cause I I, I was in, I was in the boot for about three to four months, because I had more time on my hands, um, my dad took the took the uh took the opportunity to pretty much teach me about the word, so he began he began to teach me about the Bible, teach me different concepts, ideals, principles, things that I never knew. You know what I'm saying about the Bible, and um, it intrigued me. I I was so amazed with all the information that could come from this book, that could come from the word. Um, so it, it just got to a point where I never looked back. I, I learned it. I believed it, and I never looked back. You know, what I'm saying it, I just took off straight from there. Um, so you know, for right now in my life, it's 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 simply um about me trying to grow as an individual and build character, build things that I need that I need for myself. That I know nobody can take away from Nobody can take God away from me. Nobody can take my faith away from me. Nobody can take away the the blessings and the opportunities that God brings to my life. The grace, the mercy, the wisdom. Can't no can't no man no man can yeah. take that away from me. Mm -hmm. And that's why I feel like I treasure it so much because I know this has to be valuable because nobody can touch it. Yeah. It's intangible. You see what I'm saying? So. So now your your treasure is stored in heaven. Exactly, <laughs> it's stored in oh, heaven. Yeah. It, Matthew six, right, man. So this is where I'm pretty much at in my life right now, um, trying to become a better person. Um, and for me, and also like something else about me, like my for my name, my name is actually Rodney. <laughs> like most of y'all may know, like oh yeah, that's Rodney. Yeah, like this. Yeah, I'm Rodney. That's who I am. And but you guys, I introduced myself as Obadiah. Mm -hmm. So to kind of explain to the you know the audience what that whole thing is about. Yeah, yeah. So, like, so and, and the same same for me. Like yeah. <laughs> my my, na my name is actually Lewis, but you know um, coming into the faith and stuff like that, trying to change um, the image, the self image that our name actually carries um, in the in the world around us and what people actually looked at right. us as. Right. You know, we just gave ourselves um, new names for the faith. Right. So like for example, if I say LeBron James right now, the first thing you think about is basketball. If I say Kobe Bryant, you think of basketball. Once I say mm -hmm. the, once you hear somebody's name, your mind automatically associates different experiences and characteristics based on that name. Yeah. So if I run into somebody and they say, oh, that's Rodney, they think of experiences and things that they went through with me as a person. You know what I'm trying yeah. to say? So in an effort to kind of take away what people thought of me before, I said, you know what, I'm going to give myself a new name. And I'm going to go with Obadiah. The word Obadiah means servant of God. Mm -hmm. So I said, you know, when people look at me, I don't want them to think Rodney. I don't want them to think, yeah, the dude who played basketball. I want them to think a servant of God. You see? So to most people, they know me as Rodney. But for all my brothers and sisters in Christ, they all know me as Brother Obadiah. Mm -hmm. So that's the image that I want people to have in their mind about me, which is why what, that's what inspired that whole name change. But again, I go by whichever I'm fine, whichever. But again, that's just to kind of explain to you guys why, you know, he went from Lewis to Ephraim and I went from Rodney to Obadiah. Right. Um, so, you know, enough with that. Let's let's I think you guys got a pretty good idea of, uh, you know, who we are um, as individuals. Let's go ahead and talk a little bit about um, the podcast. Like, let's talk about what inspired this, bro. Like, what, what would you say? allowed us to take this step in making a podcast what was it for you man to take this step for the podcast i think i think me and you were we were talking one day and one we, night yeah it yeah, was one nighttime. Ni well, yeah okay one <laughs> night and um 
you know, we were we were just discussing um, how can we cause more impact to the world around us? How can we add more value to people? How can we do these do do these kind of things? And I I guess I think I think we we were listening to a specific podcast at that mm. time, and you were like, "Well, why don't we do a podcast?" And I was like, "Man, like, yeah, I'm down." Mm-hmm. Then all of a sudden, I see the next day you sending me all these <laughs> Amazon links uh, for backgrounds and you know, the brick wall we got behind us and everything like that. And he's just sending me all these links of different different things for the podcast. Right. And I'm like, "Man, like, you moving quick with that." <laughs> <laughs> well, I said no time, man. Like it was crazy because we just and, and again. So what inspires this podcast again is our desire to impact people's lives. Yeah. We were literally just sitting down, like, "Yo, what can we do to bring value to people's lives? What can we do to impact people's lives?" Because not everybody is the same and can receive information the same way, you know. So we we thinking of a create. We thought of a creative way to be able to speak about our life experiences, to be able to speak about who we are. And to be able to speak about, you know, just our, our desires and goals and aspirations and, and how we can actually put that into uh and put it put that out there for people to see. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. so the, the the intention with this podcast, guys, is we really truly want to help you guys get closer to God through our testimonies, through our experiences, you know, through um what we know to be true, and not what we believe, but what we to what we know to be true. Mm-hmm. Uh, um and that's pretty much what we want to do guys with this podcast right. so moving forward we're going to be discussing a lot of different topics uh that's going to relate to people's lives relate to our lives yeah just um, a to, bunch you know, of a bunch of different topics on um, personal development and things of that nature man like that's that's just what we're going to be talking about like a bunch mm-hmm. of different things to that you can take for yourself mm-hmm. and apply it to yourself in your own life all right so guys look you know we're coming up on the end of of this of this welcome video so we don't want to, you know, do too much. We want to just give you guys a little, you know, a little something so you guys can hold on to. But guys, look, do me a favor and share this link with your friends, your family, whoever it is. Share this podcast. The first official episode will be dropped when? June 6th. June 6th. June 6th. The first official episode of the podcast, Faithful Servant Podcast, will be dropped on June 6th, 12 o'clock p.m. 12 o'clock noon. By 12 o'clock p.m. By 12 o'clock p.m. So, guys, like, we are really excited, man. Just share this share this, this, this um, brief video clip with your friends and your family members mm-hmm. or whoever you want to be able to be, be, uh, become a part of this family because we're looking to go big and uh, just continue to expand um, with, with, uh, with, the, with the, our, our audience and people to be able to see and, and learn and, and learn about God, you know. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing, guys. Again, June 6th. Yep. So you know, just, so. hey. Give this podcast to whoever you feel like may need the information and everything like that. And, you know, we're moving from there. For sure. All right, guys. We out. Appreciate your time. Stay safe. And ultimately, uh, stay blessed. Stay blessed. Stay blessed. All praises.